Hi everyone. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be going through how to plot two histograms or actually uh, multiple histograms. So uh, let's get started. So uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create two series of uh, 1000 samples each, right? So let me actually zoom in so that you can see everything. Um, yeah, so let me go, actually, I'm going to say they're both uh, normal, uh, normal distributed series. So uh, one thing you can do in MATLAB is you can type in the means as mu, right? So the way that you do that is you do uh, backslash mu and then press tab in order to complete it as mu. Um, so mu one is, I'm going to say five. And the same way I'm going to say the second mean is going to be uh, two. This is just for illustrations purpose, right? You can, you can use your own uh, series, uh, your own numbers, uh, whatever way that you want. So this is how, I, how I'm going to create it. And so I'm using normally distributed random variables. Okay, so that's my first set of numbers. And then my second set of numbers is going to be mu2 plus this thing. All right. So basically, there are two numbers. Now, n doesn't have to be the same. In fact, like I might just change that to be 5,000, All right, just to uh, uh, get across the point that you don't have to do this. All right, so let's do the actual plotting histograms. So the first, thing, the first way I'll, I'll show you the, the bad way, well, not really bad, but just uh, the boring way of doing this. And then, so this, this is all you're gonna do. I have, I haven't, I'm just using the, the default options. And this is what you get, it's, it's a terrible graph, right? So you can't see, you can see a tiny bit of blue over there, which, which is showing the second histogram, but this is plot plotting one or the other. So the second thing that I'm going to do is change the bins. So bins 50 uh, seems about right for 1,000 points, right? So let's use bins 50 over here too. Um, and then what else? Oh yeah, the, the label. So the label, I will say series one. And the same way, let me put the series two. Uh, now, of course, you're probably wondering what, uh, what am I going to do to show them all laying one, one on top of each other? And the way that I do that is this parameter called alpha. Okay, so alpha is going to be 0 0.5. So alpha is a measure of how transparent the graphs are. Okay, so this is going to do this. But just because I've um, put the labels in, I need to have a legend. Okay, otherwise these labels won't show up. And uh, just as a good practice, go location is best. All right, so now if I plot this, now you see this, these two things, these two plots, right? So. Um, yeah, so because the means were quite similar, right? So there'll be quite a large overlap um, over here. And um, that's pretty much it when it comes to uh, doing plotting history on top of each other. So actually, let me, let me show you one last trick uh, because while I'm here, so if I wanted the third series, there's nothing stopping me from doing this. I'm just gonna offset this by say, uh, let's say three. Um, yeah, okay, so you can, you can have a third series. So you can, sort of see like the third uh, histogram over here. So uh, feel free to play around with these alpha values to see uh, what, what is best for you, but alpha 0.5 is generally good enough to show you the transparent things. Um, and that's it. I want to put this code, code in, uh, in a GitHub uh, guest and, uh, and thanks for watching.